and we have been on the ovation since December 4th. And of course, you know, there was a tragedy yesterday uh, with some of our crew, as well as our um, fellow guests. So right now we are awaiting more information from our captain. Um, I understand that the a crew member has been found and is in hospital. So she was missing yesterday, but she was found today. So we're all very happy and pleased about that. And we're just waiting, awaiting further instructions in terms of how we're going to proceed. I think the captain has been doing a fantastic job keeping us updated and letting us know, um, you know, what's going on. So I'm very appreciative of that. Um, and just looking forward to um, coming to a, a closure and getting the finalized information and so that all hearts and minds can be settled. Sad, but settled. Yeah. We're still waiting to hear about several people that are still missing, but uh, we're happy to hear that the crew member has been located in this hospital and in serious condition, but at least she's been located, so we're happy about that. And there's a lot of people um, on the ship and also on the Facebook, um, Ovation's Facebook page, saying why were they allowing such a tour when um, they knew the volcano had been rumbling for the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, surely uh, Royal Caribbean wouldn't have allowed such a tour if they um, were known to what was happening on the um, island. I guess shock, it's one of those things when you hear about a disaster, you, you don't actually know how to feel. You're just standing there and you're just remembering that you have to breathe while you're hearing this kind of news and just so much goes through your head like what if that was me? What if that was my family or my friends? Like do I know anyone that's on, on that had gone on that tour? So it's actually quite emotional having to think about it and then talking to people about it. Um, so yeah. Okay, and I mean, uh, it sounds like there's been at least 13 people that may have died from it, yeah. and, and uh, some of the people that were on the ship with you. Yeah, um, we, were, we were talking to a few people um, about it, especially like the workers, because I guess you get so close with the workers, you're seeing them every day. They're kind of like your friends when you're on this um, cruise. And yeah, one of our amazing waiters, Joel, he was explaining that one of his friends that works with him was on that tour um, and he hadn't heard anything. So it, I guess it's one of those things where you really feel for them and you want to try your best to help, but you have no idea like how you can help on the boat. Um, so it's all like a waiting game kind of thing for us. Um, with the families, we have no idea who has been impacted from that. Um, so we're all just keeping everyone um, in our thoughts and our prayers and making sure that I guess everyone is safe right now as well.